Hey everybody, Smart Silver Stacker here. Today we're not going to be talking about silver, we're going to be talking about gold, that other precious metal that we all love to stack. And this is one you won't want to miss because I've teamed up with Bullion Max and they're going to provide a promotion in this video where you can get some gold at spot price. And I think we all know in today's environment of high premiums, anytime you can get some precious metals at spot, that is a great deal. So stick around and I will be showing you how you can take advantage of that promotion. But first, I do want to talk a little bit about inflation, you know, and why right now is such a great time to be stacking gold. It's gold right now, a little bit off the highs from earlier this year. It was over $2,000 just a few months ago. Now, back down to the $1,700 level. So, in my mind, this is absolutely a great time to be adding some gold to your stack. And, you know, today we got the inflation numbers for June, the CPI, and it beat expectations, surprise, surprise, coming out at 9.1% year over year inflation. You know, the thing about the CPI is it understates inflation to a pretty significant extent. So when you have a 9.1% year over year CPI, that means that real inflation, you know, the real inflation in prices that we are paying for everyday goods like food and energy and gasoline is probably up somewhere in the range of 15 to 20 percent. And you'll hear a lot of comparisons to the current inflation to the inflation that we experienced back in the 1980s. But honestly, you know, if you calculate the CPI the same way, the inflation that we're in right now is the worst that we've had since this whole fiat experiment in the dollar kicked off in 1971 when Richard Nixon took us off of the gold standard. I have directed Secretary Connolly to suspend temporarily the convertibility of the dollar into gold. And this stuff stopped being money and the dollar became purely a paper asset. Now, I do have a quick inflation prediction for all of you. And if you have an inflation prediction, please do share it down in the comments below because I would love to know what you have to say I think we may have hit a temporary peak in inflation. You know, we have seen the price of crude oil over the past week correct. We've seen the price of metals correct a bit. And when we get the July numbers for inflation, we'll be getting those next month. It may actually be a little bit below 9.1%. Now that doesn't mean that prices are gonna be falling. It just means they won't be increasing as rapidly. And I think that might be a trend that we see for a few months, maybe, for July, August, September, those inflation numbers, we may see a slight move down. I do think that the level of inflation will remain high, but it might just be a little bit lower than what we're experiencing right now. But by the end of the year, I do believe we will see a year over year CPI above 9.1 for a few reasons. One, the sale of oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, that's gonna expire in October. So that is gonna exert some upward pressure on the price of oil and that is going to carry over into the price of goods. So we're going to see some higher inflation from that. Also, this EU embargo on Russian oil, that hasn't fully kicked in yet. And I've mentioned this in a few recent videos. If you haven't seen those, go check them out. But there is a provision of the EU oil embargo that is set to kick in at the end of this year, whereby European and British insurance companies will no longer insure Russian oil tanker freight. So all of those oil ships that carry Russian oil around the world, they're not going to be able to get insurance. That means it's going to be hard for them to transit passages like the Suez Canal where they don't allow uninsured ships. It's going to cause a lot of problems for the international energy market. And so I think that that is also going to put some upward pressure on crude oil, on energy, and therefore pretty much everything else in the economy. Also, Russia might cut off gas to Europe and that energy shortage is going to bleed over into the rest of the world. It's going to bleed over into the U.S. And we're going to see that putting upward pressure on the price of energy here domestically. And finally, this recession fear, which is what has driven the price of oil down recently and the price of precious metals, you know, if that becomes too severe, I think we could see a Fed pivot. Right now, with this 9.1% CPI, now we're hearing the Fed get more aggressive. You know, they're predicting maybe we'll see a 1% rate increase at the next FOMC meeting. But even with a 1% increase, we're still only gonna have the federal funds rate at 2.5%. So that's extremely accommodative, that's extremely low. And if the recession gets out of control and the economy truly can't accommodate even these slightly increased interest rates, we may see the Fed put into a position where it is forced to reverse course and stop tightening and instead 
ease. And all of those factors, I believe by the end of the year, will have a upward effect on the level of inflation. So, you know, if we start to see a slight decline in July and August and September, maybe even in October, I'm sure that the powers that be will claim that the inflation monster is slain and that, you know, the threat from inflation is over. But by the end of the year, I think that the risk of higher inflation will become obvious and those numbers will continue to tick up. So enough about that. That's my inflation prediction. Again, if you have one, please share it in the comments down below. Let's talk about how you can get some gold at spot. So this is a five gram bar that Bullion Max sent me. So shout out to Bullion Max. Thank you very much for sending this my way. And thank you very much for extending an awesome promo to my viewers. Now let's see what they sent because I'm not 100% sure what this is. I know it is just a generic five gram gold bar. So let's take a look. Nice, Valcombi Suisse. So Valcombi, that's a mint based over in Switzerland, I believe. And as you can see, this is, you know, nothing too fancy. It's a, a very nice design. It's got that mirror finish and then some matte relief with that little logo and uh, the words fine gold, 999.95 grams. And then on the back, just the Valcombi Suisse name. And so a very simple, but yet very elegant and beautiful design for this five gram bar. And right now, if you use the link down in the description and you use coupon code SMART5 to head over to Bullion Max. If you are one of the first 15 viewers who takes advantage of this promo, you will be able to get one of these bars at the current spot price. And then don't worry if you are seeing this video a few days or a few hours after it launches and 15 people have already claimed that spot bar, you're still going to get a discount on these bars for the duration of that promo. So check out that link down in the description, head over to Bullion Max and see if you are lucky enough to be able to get some gold at spot. And I do want to say thank you very much again to Bullion Max for sending this gold my way and for extending this offer to my viewers because gold at spot price, especially fractional gold, you know, usually fractional gold like this bar carries a higher premium than products like say a one ounce coin. So the fact that they're offering some of these at spot, I think is a really great promo and I do want to thank them for that. And also a huge thank you to all of you for watching, especially those of you who share your inflation forecast, because I really would like to tap the collective mastermind of my audience and see what you think is coming with inflation in the future. And you know, for all of you out there who are watching saying, well, gold is clearly not an inflation hedge because look, the inflation is heading higher and gold is dropping. Yeah, well, there's a lot of factors at play. You know, the U.S. dollar is strengthening relative to a lot of these uh, foreign currencies that it gets measured against, like the euro, the yen, all of the currencies in the basket whereby the U.S. dollar index is calculated. And, you know, the dollar is still the world reserve currency, despite the fact that we've got $30 trillion in debt and the Fed seems dedicated to keeping interest rates low for as long as possible. People still want to flock into the dollar. And so there's some dollar strength right now relative to the precious metals. And I don't view that as a sign that gold is not an inflation hedge. I mean, you can just look at history and you can see for about 2,600 years now, gold has been a store of value that humans have been able to rely on. And I don't think that's changed, you know, just because uh, the dollar is strengthening and gold's dropping in dollar terms at the moment. Ultimately, gold will prove to be an effective hedge against the inflation that we are experiencing. I have no doubt of that. So, you know, it's not financial advice, just sharing with you what I am doing and how you can get some gold at a great price. So thank you all very much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing to the channel so you can see more videos like this. And I will catch you next time. Smart Silver Stacker, out.